Hi! In this lesson, we'll take a look at more bootstrap components. There are so many bootstrap components that are very useful in different situations, way more than we can cover in this course. In this lesson, we'll go in depth with tables and thumbnails. For a full list and example code, visit Bootstrap Docs and select Components from the side menu. The link is shown here on the slide. Bootstrap can add style to tables of information on your web page. This can make your data easier to read for your visitors. Bootstrap has several CSS classes that make tables look clean and organized. Dot table, dot table striped, dot table bordered, dot table hover, and dot table responsive. A basic table can be added to your web page using the table tag and a table bootstrap class. To add stripes or alternating colors to the rows of a table, you can add the table striped bootstrap class. Perhaps you want a border around all of the cells in your table. You can easily add this by including the table bordered class to the table tag. To make your table more interactive, you can highlight a row when the cursor hovers over it. To do this, just add the table hover bootstrap class. You can create a responsive table by wrapping a div element around the table tag and add the table responsive class to the div tag. For small screens, the table responsive class creates a scroll bar. You may want to create image thumbnails on your web page that users can select to view the full image or link to another page. To create an image thumbnail with Bootstrap, you write the image tag within the A tag. The A tag links to another image or another web page. In the image tag, include the image thumbnail Bootstrap class. Now let's see some examples of these components used in the editor. Alright, let's take a look at the example website we have here. We can see that we've created a header that provides a title for our table, then a table with column labels at the top, and then a series of rows with information about different sharks. This is what the table currently looks like, and it's not great. It's fine, but it's kind of boring, and there's no bootstrap classes added to it yet. At the bottom, we have a footer that uses the bootstrap card class, which provides some formatting to that footer. You can read about that class in the bootstrap documentation. Okay, so let's start by simply adding the bootstrap table class to our table tag. So we'll write class equals table. And then we can refresh our page and see what that looks like. And right away you can notice a difference. There's some lines that helps with the formatting and the words are evenly spaced out. Now we can also add some of the other bootstrap classes. So let's start with table striped. And we can see that it now alternates the coloring of the rows in the table. And now let's try table bordered. And you can see that every cell in this table is now outlined by a light border. And lastly, let's try table hover. And you'll see when I hover the mouse over a row, it highlights that row by making it slightly darker. So super easy to make the table look significantly better. Let's leave the table now by including the table striped class and the table bordered. We'll see what that looks like. Great, that looks perfect. All right, now let's jump over to an example where we're going to apply the bootstrap thumbnail class to our images. Currently, we have a blank page that has no images on it. And you can see that there are a few divs set up that divides our site into three different columns. And they're blank, so we want to add an image to each of them. So I'm going to copy and paste the text that we had in our slide, where we have an A tag with a reference going to a place kitten website. And then within that A tag, I have an image tag 
with the source of our kitten image that we want displayed as a thumbnail. And we've included some alt text in case that image doesn't load. So if I refresh the page, I currently see the image in its full size. So we want to use the bootstrap thumbnail tag in order to make it slightly smaller and slightly different formatted. So let's type class image thumbnail. And then watch what happens when I refresh this page. It gets smaller and you can see there's a slightly different format around the edges as well. So this is a great thumbnail format for our image. Now we want to create three of these. So let's copy and paste this into our three divs and then refresh the page. Great. So I have three images and they're now thumbnails of that image. And you can see that thumbnail formatting. And if I were to click on one of the thumbnails, it directs me to the Place Kitten website with tons of cute little kittens. So it's super easy to use the Bootstrap classes to add a little bit more format to your tables and your thumbnails on your website. And now it's your turn to dive into these classes yourself.